Did he say he came to music later on in life? How? Like how much later? Like when he was five instead of like two? That's crazy for him to have be a multi-instrumentalist and such a good singing voice. I don't know. Something's something about that story. I don't know. It's kind of hard to believe. I mean, depending on how much later in life he means. Run, run, lost boy. All right, so going back to 2019 and American Idol, let's check it out. I played out in the street and pushed myself. I play piano too. And, wow. Yeah, and it's been pretty cool. Awesome. Starting from scratch, pushing himself. You know, definitely something that uh, a lot of us can learn from. You know, sometimes you got to push yourself through those those points of nervousness and push yourself out of those comfort zones that we have. If you want to see an uncut version of this video, check out the link in the description. Took me a while to really speak the truth. Very good. I love Lionel's reaction. He's like, what? This guy taught himself? Like, what? That's incredible guitar playing while he's singing. It's like really cool. Oh, who's that guitarist? There's that guitarist. He's a was an Asian kid, like this little Asian kid that used to do this finger picking. Totally forget what his name was, but uh, yeah, it sounds like him. So one thing that he's definitely doing is he's using a ton of airflow. I mean, it doesn't take a vocal coach to hear that, but he's got a very specific approach to his voice. And you can see that he doesn't necessarily have training, but he has an incredible voice. So what he does is he actually blows, actively blowing a lot of air through his vocal cords. And so that like gives him this kind of, ah, type of quality to it and it's gonna be very hard and I, I doubt he's gonna be doing much belting because when you practice that approach all the time your muscles get used to operating in that way and in order to belt and mix and sing with a lot of power you actually need to get the vocal cords to come together more firmly which takes a little bit more muscular effort from the thyroid muscles so he is really lax in that area and letting a lot of air through. So I'm taking a chance here and I'm going to say that he probably is not going to sing any belted or super loud, strong notes. I'm just assuming that based on the way I'm hearing his voice right now. If you want to get a free lesson from me, click the link down below. That's some sick guitar playing. Thanks, man. This is going to be the greatest this is gonna be the greatest show. I've Got heard. a hug from Lionel Richie, that's not bad. Are so talented, I am so inspired. Thanks. I, I just wanna hear- Just inspired Lionel Richie. Because I wanna hear him play the piano. Is that okay? I haven't played in a minute, but I'll- <laughs> I love how in the comments it says when he said I haven't played in a minute, he actually meant 60 seconds. <laughs> oh, I like that. How did Lionel Richie know that he plays piano though? It's like putting him on the spot, like where he's like, yeah, I don't play piano. I don't know. I feel like for sure they knew beforehand that he plays piano. He probably like put it down on one of the forms. To recognize, it's up to you to choose, I'll leave it up to you. Did he say he came to music later on in life? How? Like how much later? Like when he was five instead of like two? That's crazy for him to have be a multi-instrumentalist and such a good singing voice. I don't know. Something's something about that story. I don't know. It's kind of hard to believe. I mean, depending on how much later in life he means. Tonight I'm gonna rock your night away. Thank you very much. And I was right about his, it's a, he has a gorgeous voice and sounds really, really good, but not one belted note. And he will be restricted in that kind of way that he'll have to sing specific types of songs or songs in a very specific type of way because of how he's trained his muscles. So he's trained his muscles to always sing like this. And so it's all right here. And he's not going to be able to find more. Oh, we sing 
like this. Not going to be able to. It needs a little bit more of this strength between the arytenoid muscles that's not there. And I would guess that his future performances also would fall into that same sort of category. Let's keep watching here. Alejandro, do you think you're the next American Idol? I don't know. <laughs> what a question from uh, Katy Perry. Serious. Who's your hero? Um, Trent Reznor. Um, Chopin and Bach. Wow. <laughs> Chopin and Bach. What? Where is this guy coming from? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what an answer. Like, it's totally original. I'm sure she was not expecting that. She was like expecting some pop artist. I don't even want to see anybody after you, you, him. You know, I quit. We're the lucky one. <laughs> Wow, okay, they were just showering him with praise. He does not know how to react. I love how humble he is, though. He's just like really chill and humble. You have such a career, and the fact that you don't know it makes it even more special. Well, this has always interested me. So they're saying you have such a career. Let's see, what was his name? What has been his career? It's now 2021. This was in 2019. So if he was going to have a career, it would be after that, right? Alejandro. And this is the problem. It's not just about talent. It's about tons of things all coming together so let's see what is going on with him uh currently so let's see post 2019 to present let's see immediately his exit off and that was scheduled u.s tour wow he sold out the first concert in under 15 minutes each one of the the concerts uh super cool wow phineas is uh is a fan of his that's pretty cool let's hear his version of diamonds all right, well, if you search diamonds, it's definitely not the first one that pops up. All right, so this is October 10th, 2019. Totally not what I would expect in his... This is very interesting. Okay, totally not the style that he started off with in the show. Way different. Oh, definitely very gritty. So what's he been doing since 2019? All right. Yeah, so like not much commercial success, you know? Doom Hologram was released September 4th, 2020. Yeah, it didn't get on the charts. So, you know, super talented guy, but at the end of the day, it's not just talent that's going to make you a massive star. And so while he may be great, he just for some reason just didn't connect to and continue a fan base past the show. And that is the story of so many people on American Idol and the, all these types of shows. That's why when people say, oh man, you should go on American Idol or The Voice or whatever it is, a lot of people don't realize that it, for many, many people, it's a pipe dream. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button down below. If you want to see more videos like this, check out that one right there. You're going to like it. I know it. Check it out.